Um, the the effort and energy was much better than it was Sunday, and uh, the approach was much better. The the togetherness was much better. They were really supporting each other, which was great to see. And we played hard. Um, did a lot of good things. Turned the ball over too much. Got to shoot free throws better. Uh, got to fend off the dribble a little bit better. Um, but um, you know we did what we we're supposed to do. Carroll gets to start tonight. Is it going with the hot hand? Yeah, you know he. Um, yeah, it was more reward for him. Not necessarily nothing against Leighton or anything. Just kind of you know I thought he gave us a little bit of spark the other day and um, gives us just a, you know. Uh, Got in there and had a double double night. And if you told me that before the game, he was going to have a double double and only make one three, and probably said you're crazy. Uh, but it's good to see him find ways to score besides just shooting threes. Rebounded the ball well, gave us good minutes. Still got to work on guarding the basketball. Are you, uh, you know, kind of even happier about his 11 rebounds in your? Oh, no doubt. Uh, I'll, across the board, that's the thing I talked to our team about after the game, amongst other things. But. Uh, we had almost four guys in double-digit rebounds. Three of them, we did get double digits, and then Shine had eight. But Solomon, 10, Nash, 12, Carroll, 11. So that's what we're looking for a little bit. Um, you know, so that was good to see. Before the season, you had mentioned that with Jeffrey, you needed to see more rebounding, more defense. You knew he could score. Are you starting to see that from him? He has been rebounding. He's really made an effort. Uh, and that's what I've liked. Um, about Jeffrey Carroll the last couple of weeks is he's really been playing hard. He's really been trying to do other things besides just shoot the basketball and be be a three point shooter. He can do that. He's one for six tonight. He's loud, you know who he can make shots. I'm not worried about that. Um, but to see him focus and really trying to do other things is is good to see. And we've been seeing that happen. We've been seeing him. Just got to continue work on his defense. Are you excited to get Cottons back? Well, definitely, no question about. It. I know he's itching and. You know, it's his first game back, though. We all got to be patient. Played in a while, and uh, but no, he uh, we're excited to have him back, and I know he's excited, definitely. You were looking for more intensity. Did, did uh, Anthony Allen kind of cross the line a little bit? There? Oh no, no, absolutely, just foolish, uh, just foolishness. Um, you know, he, you know, we talked to him about it because all he kept telling us, "Oh, this guy's throwing out." You know, he started, you know, I don't care. You know, play and just um, let his emotions get the best of him. Made a. Just a foolish mistake, and uh, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. Coach, what did you think of uh, Le LeBron's like probably first ten minutes of the game? He came out was pretty intense and hustling. Who's that? Le LeBron. Oh, you're 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 dead on. Uh, we saw it before the game, just how his his body language and how he was talking to guys, even in warmups and in the locker room, and everything was just and, and shoot around today. Um, you know, he stayed after a shoot around. He stayed for about an hour and worked on his game with a man and did some things on his own. Um, so uh, those are things good to see. Uh, but you're 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 exactly right. We thought his energy level was up. He was playing hard, very unselfish. Man, he was making some great passes. Um, yeah, you know that. Uh, you know, he, his 16 and 12 was was good tonight, uh, and it came kind of easy for him. He didn't force things too much. Answer a reflection on Sunday's game and the post game. Maybe, you know. He even said, you know, they, they weren't happy with how they performed. Yeah, so, you know, I think they got the message a little bit. We still have a long way to go as a basketball team, a long way to go. But I like the potential of this basketball team. I enjoy coaching them to this point as long as they continue to be unselfish and support each other. The support for each other has been tremendous. Guys pulling for each other. and um, You know, so if they continue to do that and be very humble and continue to learn, um, then we'll have a chance to be an okay basketball team. We'll be all right. Um, and... Uh, Play hard. Just uh, you know, Sunday was a great learning lesson for our, for everybody, um, and I think they got the message. You know, I know with expectations this year are, are lower than the last couple of years. Are you? Um, but you know, looking at these first three games, are you disappointed at all by the smaller crowds, or do you feel like this team has to kind of earn some support? Well, you know, um, we need a big crowd Friday night. It's going to be a great challenge for our basketball team. Our first, you know, true big challenge. These games we've been playing have been good for our team. Been very good. As I told our team, we we have a a big time challenge, a veteran experience, nice team, big guys inside, good guards. You know, uh, they were just up, I think, 12 with eight minutes to go in front of a sold out crowd at Auburn in their first game, Auburn's first game over there. So, so we need a big crowd Friday night. It'd be great to have. You know, uh, you know, these guys are, uh, you know, going to school every day here in their Oklahoma State uh, Cowboys and, um, you know, we need all the Oklahoma State Cowboy fans to come out and support these guys. They're, they're, they're part of their family and, 
uh, we, we need that support. These guys need it. They deserve it. And we hope we get a good crowd. Uh, that would be nice to have. How's Suchek doing? He's doing fine. We reevaluate every morning. Uh, they think he'll be okay. Uh, today was really good. So I think he'll be, I think he's going to start hopefully doing a little bit tomorrow, hopefully full go on Thursday and hopefully be able to play Friday. That's kind of what they're guessing, but you don't know until in the morning where he goes through all of his tests again, his concussion tests. And, uh, but they were pretty much bottom lined out this morning, they said, so he should be okay. We kept him in the locker room tonight just because of noise and everything like that. So he watched the game in the locker room. And, so hopefully we'll get him back. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, in the same way, you guys got a lot of energy from from Jeffrey Carroll in the first half. You had to like the minutes that Newberry provided. Newberry shot the ball well. Shot the ball very well. Um, and when you shoot the ball well, it can it can camouflage a lot of other stuff. And uh, we need him to continue to defend the ball. Uh, our whole team defend a little bit better. Uh, but no, he shot the ball really well. Sure did. Thank you. Cheers. Jeff, you got your first start tonight. Jeffrey, I should say, you got your first start tonight. It looked like you played with a lot of a lot of energy. Was it was that part of it? Yeah, it was. It was. Uh... <laughs> um, Talk about your night. You had a big night. Mhm. Mm um, I was just trying to just like uh, like uh, just rebound the ball and to stay aggressive the whole game, like Coach Ford told me. How are you feeling emotionally about making your first start? Um, it felt great. I mean, uh, it gave me like a lot of confidence, like uh, throughout the whole game. So, I, I uh, like, I think that helped me like perform uh, how I did tonight. You had a little bit of a slow start in the opener. How much did the the second half of, of the last game kind of build your confidence? Um, it uh, helped a lot. It did help a lot. Um, just trying to like stay focused on like rebounding because like my shots weren't falling, so I had to do something else to help the team. <clears throat> Talk about the response that your team had, and, and you particularly to um, Coach Ford's. I guess he was unhappy with how things went in the last game. Just to talk about. Uh, it was just not Coach Ford, it was us too. I mean, that was the biggest thing. Our team, you know, decided that that wasn't a good game for us, and that's the biggest step for us, you know. We always wanted to play great, you know, and we know we could do the better that last game. So we came out and proved that. You know, we got to play from the start, and that's the biggest thing. We got to jump out on the team, jump on the team, and just play Cowboys basketball and just, you know, you know, just get out there and have fun. That's what's the biggest thing, you know. We got to have fun playing this game, and it look like we did tonight. Okay, Jeff, uh, how much pride do you guys as guards take in, in playing as intense defense as you guys have? Uh, we take a lot of pride in that. That's really what we, what we concentrate on, like, um, I know that's what I concentrate on. I'm trying to be one of the best defenders in the league, so or on our team, and we push him to play defense every day. He, we know he can score, but we want him to play defense. He's doing a better job. So everyone is just taking pride in not letting their man get past him and not letting other teams score. It seems like you and Tyree have developed some good chemistry when you're on the court together, right? Uh, yeah, we we play a lot together in practice. So. Uh, He's a scrappy guy. Also, he motivate me to be scrappy more too, cause I'm more, I'm athletic. So you know, we both just get after it and try to make stuff happen when we get in. Jeffrey, before the season, Coach Ford said he had a lot of faith in your ability to score, but he wanted you to rebound and 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 play defense. Are the rebounds the most important thing to you on that stat sheet tonight? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Kind of where is where's that going with you as far as rebounding and, and, and defending? Do you feel like that's something that you, you, you know? It's kind of your approach to that. Um. Uh. Well. Well. Uh, Coach Dickey just told me to like to just stay on the glass because like he knows I can. So I had to uh, do that, and, and 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 like I just continue to do it throughout the season. So. We're doing these guys. Perfect. Thanks, gentlemen. Sorry. This is first time. So. This is my first time. A little nervous, a little nervous, a little nervous. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm making do it. It's easy, see there? Yeah.